your best and take some of those guns away from the side of F4Q. But coming out here, spraying with the Spectre, easy double kill. Actually, that is his third overall here in this round for Glow. As now Zumba says, come and get me because I've got a classic and uh, a dream. Yeah, I mean, he wants to try to get one if he can. Yeah. Classic. <laughs> He's got this burst fire. Oh, he actually got one. That was pretty cute, but uh, that's going to be the end of his. Yeah, absolutely. Going to go with the Blade Storm here. Does pick up the kill. Does God Dead, actually. Not actually uh, 5K, who is playing that jet and does enter on in. Glow does get taken out. He did only have a classic, though, so. Uh, not the biggest seal in the world, but still 5v4 now as they do take the site, and Zumba is going to plant this spike. See if they can rotate around. It's actually being covered right now by God Dead, that long rotation they'd have to take. Uh, but I think that might be their only option here. They're not going to go for it. They're just going to go guns blazing, I think, if they contest this. <laughs> yeah. I mean, of course, F4Q playing with the Sage means that we're going to see a lot of interesting walls and slow orbs and stuff like that. Okay, we had 5K playing aggressively up here. Zuma finally able to trade back a kill, as does Jinx. And now King on the site looking for the last member. He's got one health. It looks like it's only God dead. He does land that shock dart a couple of times and now trying to come in here. But with that kill, they should be able to get this defuse just barely before the time does run out. Yeah, a little bit of an overextension push angle. Yeah, they're not going to waste too much time. They got 14 seconds. Really nice shot over the wall there from Stax to get them started. And a shot in the back through the smoke. As now King is going to get another one and an easy clean up there from RB. It's only Zumba left with two seconds. He's going to be looking for kills, but he will not find any as RB will get three on the round. RB, never do that again. Um, if you're going to do that, at least uh, hit somebody in the face with one of those knives. As here comes Bucky Boy, otherwise known, known as Bunny. He's going to be shot down, though, as RB does get a nice amount of damage done, at least. As now on the site here in the smoke, God dead. He's got the angle here, able to take out one. But that Sova is just about dead. He's not playing aggressively. He's holding that mid sight line. Yeah, and at the same time, very aggressive here, but shot in the face is Bunny. And this push is going to be shot down as, don't know if he was able to land that dart, but we got an Odin out here on the map as well. They know he's underneath in hell, and they're going to take him out, but Stax does follow up with a nice kill with that Vandal as the Resurrection is going to come in. It's actually making it an even game here. Positionally, it's definitely going to be F4Q's advantage right now. They even have some extra info here. They know the operators move. Oh, this is so big. Let's see. Nice dodging abilities does come in, but it buys some time to get that spike down as well. As here we go. I'm gonna for it. land those blinds. It's a nice kill from RB, but they are outgunned. And out man, the Zest though is gonna land one with the operator, not able to flick onto his fellow Sova at the end of the day. Uh, so they can have good economy for that last round. They lose this one, the last round is almost certainly a loss as well. They committed to RB having an operator once again. Yep. He's on the wrong spot. Actually, a really fast push here for F4Q. Ooh, this is rough for Bunny. He's going to get shot down through the wall. Zess saying Sova is, in fact, somebody who can do a lot of damage. RB is going to get that snipe actually down. Now uh, a shot bolt kill from Zess. They're looking to clear out the site right now. Four on two. And make that four on one. And that is going to be the end of that as Vision Strikers, a very important round, and they easily make quick work of F4Q. Yeah, that was, it's not a huge surprise. You see the Odins <laughs> being purchased, and you're like, okay, I think this is what's going on. Rez? Okay. <laughs> He knew where he died, as it turns out, but yeah. it's it's the last round. You make a risky play. You're going to use your ult this round no matter what, so. Mm -hmm. Ooh, trying to land it there and control the recoil of that Odin, but the other Odin player actually did take the win. Of course, Zest able to shut that down with an aggressive push straight down the middle. Some blind action going to come on in. They're trying to rotate here, but stacks easy one-two punch. Going to uh, get the double headshot. And 5K gets... Snapped. 
seriously working against the, the members of Vision Strikers at the moment. 5K's got a great angle here, although not quite able to make that one work. The Bucky, though, through the smoke, picks up two, and the spike is down. He's going to get shot in the back, though, as King should be able to pick that one up. As Dow will go 5K as well. It's now trying to push on in. RB will get that entry kill onto the A site, but he's all alone. Gets another, and it, there it is. The fourth kill comes through, and he gets the spike plant. RB shoot. Balls going up. You can see the smokes, I should say, coming up for. Oh, man. They lined up for that one. Pretty easy kill through the smoke, though. Not able to land it. And, of course, RB with the entry kill. Here comes Jinx. Very aggressive through the smoke. Gets the kill before the door gets down. And will even things up three to three. As the spike plants will not be denied. As Vision Strikers looks like three on two at the moment. Yeah, they don't want to guess too much in hell or they'll end up running out of rounds here. So kind of awkward. They, can't, they don't want to guess anymore. There actually is obviously someone down there. There it is, hops back, RB gets the perfect timing and will pick off another. Stax was trying to get a kill, but RB's like, no man, that's making his way onto A. He doesn't end up seeing too much. Oh, okay, well, good reaction there from Zest. Trade though. Yeah. Should have known he was there, but here comes the play, pushing forward and immediately shot out of the air. Not gonna let him use that show stop forever, it feels like, in this match. Vision Strikers now pushing on to B, as there is a jet in the back of the site that perhaps they weren't looking for. But still, the rest of his team going down. It's all up to 5K. Nice angle. Yeah, and there's not much time either. Six seconds, but I got a marshal, and now he's blocked sight. Like if they get on B, there's no, it's like unwinnable <laughs> for F4Q. Yeah, there's just no way. Like, and they're on sight now. Certainly, Good luck with this. It certainly does feel that way. You, you <laughs> stack Bucky's on the A site, and Vision Strikers reads you and pushes B. You're not gonna have a good time. You can't even. You can't even. You're not even gonna get a chance to try to use a Bucky. Even right click. Look at the angles. So we're gonna yeah. try to wrap all the way around through can, uh, attacker spawn. They can hear them. You know, like they're yeah. running right by because they have control of market essentially. That's the to reload. Zed's gonna start off there. They're gonna push forward. That's the first Bucky kill from Jinx. And well, just holding the angles, using that distance, easy hold to your middle side, being held pretty effectively here so far by F4Q. Getting a couple of members here. And this aid is playing pretty far up, actually. See Jinx with the Bulldog just looking to pop some heads, essentially. Yeah, hoping to in mid. Well, taken out. <laughs> he did his best. His best wasn't enough. As here comes the rotation all the way around the back. It does look like you can see 5K is playing pretty defensively there around the cubby area. Not sure exactly where they're coming from, but it is going to be through the A main location as, okay, first kill with the Judge being taken down by Zumba over to King. This is winnable. Tie things up. Oh, but that is going to be the kill now onto Zumba. Trades it back and forth once again. And two members left, now only one left from the side. Glow able to get the one kill. But here comes Zest from behind, is going to pick him down. For Vision Strikers to, to make a play without knowing where the Operator will be, because they don't have that information. No, no pun intended. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <on B. laughs> There's actually a nice amount of information being gained there in the garage doors that are being thrown forward. They had a smoke thrown from A short all the way to C. And this is the first time we're seeing a little bit of a split push here. He's pushing on through and getting baited, but Jinx is going to get the kill and God dead follows up as now Jinx will get another one on top of that. But again, we had the push coming in onto C, but the spike is down on short, which is where the real push was supposed to be coming in. Exactly. So they ended up sending the majority of their players to the wrong side. And now, I mean, this is going to be really tough to retake. He's even blocked here, obviously, by the flames. Molotov. Yeah. Jinx and gets some info there with his ult. Uh, Run it back again. Easy kill there, but here comes RB. He's looking for blood. Can he land them? He's going to get it with the right click, and he picks up on the spike. 
on his entry. And now it's jet on jet action, and only one will stand on top. It will be. And this is one map where the Buckies can feel strong if it's solo queue, but I feel like if. <laughs> If you're playing as a team and you're pushing S5, like, you're probably not going to get caught off guard by this. 5k coming in here getting blinded by about seven things. There's all the smokes coming through. Going to be shot through the smoke as RB picks up one, two, as <laughs> the ragdoll effect onto Bunny as he tries to blast pack through and gets nothing done. Yeah, unfortunately, there's just not much to be done here either for Zumba and Jinx. Uh, Zumba's just going to maybe hope for some exit kills when uh, the bomb is going to explode, of course. Call an exit killer, an exit frag, is someone fleeing from the spike uh, gets taken out while they're trying to make sure they don't die there. So that's what they're both trying to hold at this angle for, but if he steps one, <laughs> one foot over the line. All right, we'll see what the Bucky can do. I think he probably gets one here. Yep, there it is. <laughs> He's got some range with that right click. Zumba as well. Gonna pick up one, and finally just gonna be sprayed through the smoke there. Not much time with the spike right now, but they should all be able to get out of here and survive after that one. Round, the exception of Bunny. Jinx, he's got a nice angle, takes out RB, but killed by King, who's able to throw out his ultimate and sees exactly where everybody is. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and, uh, well, wasn't much help for Zumba. Well, it's really easy to rush into C when you know there's no one on it. Uh, and Zest gets that operator kill, obviously. And now you know, okay, I have every opening covered. Like, there's no options for you. Yeah. C is pretty difficult to retake if you don't have much time because there's only really two entries, right? Yeah, and they're both covered, and Bunny doesn't have hold. He just tried to grab a gun, gets called out for it. Like, there is the third, the seat long, but nobody really has time to rotate all the way around, so... Generally, it ends up just trying to go through either the garage or through the defender's spawn. As we're looking for 5k here. Might have a sneaking suspicion and might actually just hear yep. him and see him. Down he goes. There's the kid. But he's going to see everything he's got to see as we do actually have the push slowly coming through. Here comes the ultimate coming in from the breach. Actually, good dead. God dead, rather. From hell gets hit. As Glow now on the site. Going to take him out alongside Stacks. And now five on three again. And they have a smoke in the choke. Can't easily pass through that. He has the blind shots there just in case. This is a Hail Mary. But look at the position for RB and Stacks. They're in hell. They can't get hit by that flash. All right. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah. Nice try. Zumba's got a buggy. He's going to get t shut down. You've got a sheriff, so can't criticize too much. All that owl drone is wishing it was never born. Not going to be born until next round, that's for sure. <laughs> Not going to be born again. The unfortunate cycle for Mr. Owl Drone. You don't expect that through the smoke. He was actually on the high ground. He used an updraft for that. It was actually a really nice play. That's an unexpected angle. That's the other reason why you give this operator to the jet, because he can just find angles that you wouldn't expect. But I think, though, on that note, F4Q should expect RB, you know, after the last round where he had the operator, to be trying to take this into his own hands here. Yeah, the more common operator location to see, but, you know, obviously you can't know for sure where he's going to be at any given time. That's why changing your operator location between rounds is... Uh, very important. Yeah. Which Cam's going to scout this. It was a great idea for them to set him up at B because so many B pushes were coming in. As now King spotted. Pretty unfortunate for him. He's going to be shot through by the Odin. And 5K also able to take out stacks. Down goes the operator that RB was holding on to. And now it's two on four with the sight and the plants coming in from F4Q. Got an Odin at least. I mean, it's hopeful, but oh boy. <laughs> Not hopeful enough. Yeah. It's not looking too good for them as there's going to be another kill. The Odin's getting still need two rounds to take it as RB is pushing up very aggressively. There's an aggressive Owl drone. They're getting in their faces. Although the spike is going to get planted on to B again and RB goes down on the aggressive push. Zest at least able to trade one back, but the spike is down on B again. 
Spikes down. They have that mid control. It's the same exact location as they've been planting on every time. God Dead got a peak angle here as well, so there's no way for Zest to sneak past him. Dead. Dead. Easy. And look at this. It's so easy to just spam with Odins and showstoppers and all sorts of crazy stuff through the smoke. There is no way Vision Strikers are defusing that one. You just can't defuse that. Not with the comp that they're running. This is actually super cool. Phoenix is a meta, says who? On Haven. This is just a, uh, that's a GG. <laughs> GG, my Vision Strikers. Yeah. Hi, run and hide. Very fast. Everyone's rotating quickly. Yeah. In on, and hell is king. He's trying to get those kills, but he cannot. But RV, can he show up big? He gets two, but he does get taken out. But this is a big win as Stax is going to be able to take two in a row, but got dead trying to spray him down. Cannot in the... Thing. Yeah, he definitely bought. We don't know what. Yeah. Okay, this is it for this whole map. The map decider. Bunny's really pushed up here. And he's just immediately going to get picked by a really weird angle. But Jinx, they weren't expecting two of them. He's got curveball, too. He tosses out early. He might be able to trade one more kill here. Look at the fast rotations, too. Aftershock comes out, forces him out of the little cubby. Pushing in, but he actually bl gets blinded. Not sure if that was the breach or himself. <laughs> Happens sometimes when you're playing Phoenix. And interestingly, they're keeping the operator on, uh, you know, A short because they're scared of a rotation. That is exactly what's happening. So this this risky decision actually pays off in terms of the operator positioning here. Come. Yeah, he can actually, you know, they're they're feeling a bit behind after that one. It is four on three, so one pick here would be massive. That's it. Five can gets anything. Oh, he got it. Oh, he got it. That's so big. 3v3. Let's see how it happens. We're, we're getting a rotation now, potentially through Sounds Barrage, or will yeah. they just go straight into B? They might not have enough time Zumba's to go got, He's got Paranoia. He knows the rotation is here. He's going to smoke first. Yep. All right, that's the initial kill. They know where Zumba is, but this is looking good for M4Q on the defense, but there's the entry kill finally from Glow. As the plant's going to come on in. Operator not going to be good in this situation. Nope. <laughs> He's looking for the ankle. And oh, there he is. <laughs> he was so low on health. That was the problem. And Al Glow says, well, so much pressure on him. He gets the one oh, kill. One. Oh, that's going to be God dead. Gets the headshot. Like a very slow push here around B, which has been, been their MO throughout this entire map on attack. Looks like kind of a fake B entry. Oh, wow, the aggressive push-up C-Long by Stax is going to get them the kill, but there's two guys over there, and the push is coming up to A real quick. <gasps> How did he not get it? Jinx, a huge miss. <laughs> oh, now he's in a really awkward spot. And they're just going to smoke it off. They say we don't want anything to do with that. But he did take a bit of damage from the shock, shock bolt as they are planting A as we speak. So... Spraying through, 5k is going to get a couple, this could be huge, but Glow with the re-entry here, 60 health from behind, he's going to get some help from Stax, but very low health bars, there is the blind, and we are going to be eating, I think he's, you know, he's doing the same thing he did the last time around, right, when they go for like the typical Haven rotation, just catch one guy in rotation. Yeah, it's, it's happening a lot. Right now, it looks like the decision is going to be made here shortly, but I, I don't know if they're actually going to commit into A. I, as I say that, Jets just jumping in. <laughs> they do commit in the end as coming through is the raise once again. Can he get anything done? The answer is no. This one is very clean. The cleanest of the overtime rounds that we have had so far. Yeah, he can't save this operator, so... <laughs> just going to go ahead and try his best. Delay, and then go right away. Well, blind. Also red. Or dazed, I guess. Yeah. Is walking you through. Okay. Not much sneak push again. That's what they've again found the most success with. They've got double Odin. They've got double Odin again. This is definitely happening. Jinx gonna try to come through here with the curveball. Actually, does get the kill on the RB up top. That is massive, but gets shot down. This is also quite big. The push still coming on in. Zest and stacks here on the defense. This is looking pretty fantastic now for the side of Vision Strikers, four on three. Yeah, and look at the positioning of King, too. He can actually find 
can actually find a kill over here. It gets traded on the god dead. <laughs> so many Odins. There it is, a spray through the smoke, and that's gonna do it. 2-0 for Vision Strikers as they take